Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I am Amalgamash, and today I want to take a look at the Variable Labels tool included with RPG Developer Bakin. This tool is available under the Master Menu once you are in your map editor. There is a pop-up screen that appears, along with the typical checkbox to not show it next time, and this explains it better than I could. It reads, this section allows you to list variables that have been specified in the game. All variables used for events in the game, such as values, text, and local values, are extracted here. By looking at this table and following how the contents of the variables are changing, you can check that the flow of events is working correctly. By clicking on the table, you can also open the event sheet in which the variable is used and immediately modify the usage of the variable. If you are not sure what to do, as always, please refer to the manual on the RPG Builder Bakin official site. A note on the size of the UI, I am recording this video in 4K resolution. All of the UI would be bigger if you used the program in a smaller resolution display. So we'll click OK, and we'll maximize this screen. There doesn't seem to be a lot here, but you can change the position of the two panes left and right. On the left side we have map, and on the right we have details of label variables. You can also change the width of each column, and the columns read place to be used, variable ID, and operation contents. Now both the maps section and the details of label variable sections have search functions, so you should be able to find variables that you assign easily. So I created an event to assign some values to three completely random variables. I used one global integer, one string, and one local integer so that we can see exactly how this section of the program is used. And this does identify that I have three variables used in event sheet one for my event one. One of them is an n numeric zero, an s string zero, and an l local zero. Now these are basically indicators that we have a numerical or globally available integer. In other words, the scope of those variables is global. An S for a string variable, which is also global, and an L for a local variable, which has a local scale only. It's only accessible to the event in which it was created. These, numeric zero, string zero, and local zero, were actually the default names, and I did not change the names, but I did assign each one a variable. And here we can see the operation contents, or exactly how that variable is affected. And these are correct. I did assign the number five to my first variable. I assigned the text string hello world to my string variable. And I changed the local variable to the name of elf b. So if we double click on this top one, we are immediately brought to the event in which I assigned values to these variables. Now that involves taking a look at the event editor, and we'll do that in another video. But for now, just know that any variables that you use can be analyzed here, and you can immediately go to where that variable has been changed and see the context of how that variable was used after you use it. That's going to make for some much easier troubleshooting when you have complex variable assignments or multiple places in the game that might use the same values and the same variables. And it might help you track down that one time that you accidentally used a pre-assigned variable for something completely unrelated and caused a bug. That about does it for the variable labels tool overview. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next RPG developer Bakin video. Bye for now.